Okay, on this one we're just wanting to know if a precipitation is going to occur. So we have a lab technician gives uh, or adds 0 0.015 moles of KOH to one liter of a 0 0.001 molar calcium nitrate solution. And technically all we need to know is whether or not a precipitation occurs. So we're going to solve for a Q rather than a K for the calcium hydroxide. I have a calcium concentration of 0 0.001 molar and the hydroxide is 0 0.015 because this would just go into moles over one liter. So I get a Q of 2.25 times 10 to the negative seventh. All right, and we're going to compare that to our K and we have a situation where K is larger than Q. Therefore, we are expecting this reaction to keep going forward and all solubility products means that's going to go from reactants being the solid to aqueous solutions so no precipitation occurs now those are typically your two choices either going to have a precipitation occur or not um, but you might also have to worry about competing reactions so look for a a, a second KSP here. It wasn't given in this case because the other species we're dealing with is nitrates and um, a rule that we introduced in general chemistry one was basically that nitrates are highly soluble um, but it, in this case I might have been able to add a KSP to this problem for the nitrate but we would have seen it was a much bigger value and therefore we can kind of ignore it.